Hello, my fabulous fundraisers. It's Kelly with Artisan Auctions. Today's episode is about something we always want to avoid, double dipping. We all love when organizations put together great baskets and fun packages for their live and silent auctions, but the trick is getting those items without asking the donors to supply them up front and then purchase them again at the annual auction, otherwise known as double dipping. But how do you get these items donated free and clear where donors aren't being asked to buy the same items twice? Well, we're going to look at three great ways to score awesome auction items without double dipping. School auctions are a prime example of organizations who love classroom baskets for live and silent auctions. There are just so many options for what you can put together within a theme. Kitchen gadgets, pamper yourself at the spa, everything chocolate, a coffee basket, a tea basket, a date night basket, the list is as long as you are creative. But let's face it, no one wants to buy something twice. So I always encourage parents and donors to tap into their network and ask for donations from companies or stores or even friends who can help them create a basket full of goodies without touching their own wallets. So how exactly can you make that happen? First, if you have a friend or family member who says they can't make it to your event, be ready to ask if they can help you with an item for the auction instead. This is a great opportunity to help support your organization before the event without worrying about being absent the night of. Second, leading up to your event, I always recommend carrying some donor forms with you everywhere you go. For example, if you find yourself dining out at a restaurant where you regularly spend your money, why not ask the manager if they'd be willing to support your organization with a gift certificate? If you have your donor forms with you, it's super easy to ask for the donation as you pay. Third, brainstorm some services you can offer an organization which only cost you your time. Are you a great gardener? Perhaps there's a fabulous mouth-watering dessert you like to make. You could team up with 11 other great bakers and offer the dessert of a month package. Maybe you're well-versed at hiking or mushroom hunting and could lead a group on an amazing forage hunt. The bottom line is by asking others to help you acquire items for your event, you're not supplying and buying the packages twice. No double dipping on my watch. Do you have tips on how to create amazing packages while avoiding the dreaded double dip? Or some favorite packages you've put together in the past? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We've also included a list of great basket ideas with a download link in the description. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on how to maximize revenue at your next fundraising event. See you next time.